you are welcome in this video let us understand how to make college sports management software for the sports people so particularly sports occurs in the college so this video is basically for ca students so who are learning any of the languages like vb c sharp python android like so you all know like as a ca student you supposed to do a project as per your curriculum in third semester or fifth semester or any other semester and you require a different title because if there are 50 students in the classroom each one has to do the different project so in order to serve that we brought different titles here so college sports is a one such title so here we'll understand like how the sports occurs in the college then how to record everything and store the information in the system so it's like a database management system or it's a mini project so let's learn how to make this project in this video so this project sports management so here you can log in you can go to main page so here what you got is a mda form okay so this is mda form stand for multiple document interface and then here you can type games what are the types of games we can play in college then game names or game title because in cricket we can have a multiple cricket types so therefore that we can write so for example cricket for girls cricket by boys uh, cricket for juniors like that this is a title next one college details uh, so different college students can participate so therefore you can have a college details here then team details you have to make a team so if it's a cricket junior so you need to make one team for this so each college team are in the same college multiple teams okay so this is a teams then this is the play so play so when you play we are not counting day to day thing but you want to store who was the winner who are who played against whom so team 1 and team 2 so who is the winner from this so if team 1 is a winner you can write so same way there is a t3 t4 so who is the winner uh, team 3 is the winner from these two who is the winner so t1 is the winner so we'll record all this information in the system same way this for the college and we can also make a state level so then you can have a state details uh, state team then again winners so who in the match so this is a main concept of this particular project so it little different than the regular management projects so therefore if you are searching for something different project i think this will do the job that is a sports management project so we develop this one in the visual basic uh, here we show you in a vb.net but still you can write this in c sharp even you can write in um, python right so you can make as an android app so all possibles are open so for check it out like uh, how comfortable you are in that particular language other you can able to do this project in that particular language okay so let's move on and let's see the demo so here is the project uh, we already opened in uh, visual studio so this is the visual studio 2019 so it's a community edition so therefore you can download from the microsoft website and if you go to view menu server explorer so this is the sql server interface here we are already connected to the database and if you are not very sure like how to create the database how to create the tables so i'll suggest you please uh, watch other video and there are a lot of videos in our channel i'll show you like how to see them so below the video you can see that tablix tutorials channel name so you click on this so uh, it'll take to this kind of page or else you go to youtube and search for iblix tutorials so you'll come across here and uh, please subscribe so there is a subscribe button so click on subscribe and if you subscribe uh, that will help us to bring you more videos and uh, more explanations and also you can learn lot of things in this particular channel fine next thing is you need to click on videos so when you click videos 
you can see that a uh, lot of videos in this channel so keep browse down and uh, you will come across a lot of videos a lot of explanations uh, language tutorials and particularly vb.net is concerned so here you can see that uh, we teach you like how to make a mda form how to make the child form then there is a login form how to create the login form then how to work with the database how to create the tables how to create the update the all videos are available over here so please whenever you have a time please come to our channel uh, learn one step by step so then you can start your project then it will be easy for you to do the complete project so it's the iblix and you can learn in a simple steps let's come back to our uh, visual studio so here as i told already please check out all these things now i'll show the design okay what are the columns are there in each table so here is a table design this is a college table so in the college table we have five columns college code college name c address phone website and this is the corresponding data types right so you need to you can if you, you can see the sql statement here so first you need to write down what are the column names and what are the data types and then you have to create this table so after that you can see that there is a game one result so this this particular table so here is the game event name and what is the game name and here are the different uh, teams so at the end of the day you can need to specify who is the winner so this is the initial matches up to eight matches after that uh, it's a quarter final semi final and then final like that okay so in this we can store all the informations same way this is game two for uh, state level uh, almost same actually next one is a game tab in this game name player detail game type so these are the four columns in the game table next one is a game type so game type and then detail so here you can write cricket kabaddi coco basketball all the games you can write here so next is the player detail so this is the individual player detail you need to write uh, enter the data in the form and that data should come to the this particular table next is the state table so this is to store all the state names uh, next is the team so here you can see team name so what is the team what is the state and all the players in that particular team that we need to enter it here fine so this is the team so next one is the users table so these were the user table there are two columns are there this table is used to login so when you log in user id password both will be checked in this table if it is present so you can see admin admin so if you enter only admin admin you can able to log in otherwise it will stop there fine so these are the tables so and also we suggest you please watch some more uh, project videos so you'll understand like how the whole project works and we explain some code in each project so gather all the informations and then you can write the complete project your own right so now come to the form so we have a module here so in the module you can declare all the public variable functions and procedures and this statement is important this is to connect to the database and you need to import system dot data dot sql client so in order to work with sql server this uh, this library is required therefore you need to import the namespace generally what library is called as a namespace in dot uh, net so therefore you need to import this namespace okay and then uh, this connection string so if you watch the sql server video how to get the connection string all are explained over there so please check it over there even in the login page video even that is explained how to get the connection string so then uh, watch that video understand how to get the connection string then you will make the connection string here so um, these are the functions this function are particularly to check what number what the whether you enter number or character uh, particularly for mobile number so this function we can call and check it out what what, what you entered if you enter character then it will give the message please enter number only otherwise it will accept the numbers all right so next is the login form so here is a login form when you click okay uh, we'll take to this particular table user tab as i told this is a user table and you'll take username what you enter in the username text box and password text box so if you enter admin admin so then you can able to log in if you enter something else you can't but if you want to different username and password first you need to enter here for example let's say i want to enter this aa and password is aa now you can able to log in as a aa right 
So next is the MDA parent. Uh, so here is the menu. Uh, this is the menu strip. In the menu strip, you need to create all the menu items. So just move the cursor over there. So you can see the type here. You can type the menu name here. And after that, you need to double click on this. So it will take to the code window. There you need to write the code. So now I want to take to the state level result form. So it will take to the state level result form. So in the menu, which form you want to open, that particular form name dot show. And uh, particular form name dot MDA parent is equal to me. Then it's acting as a child form. So that is the reason there. Okay. So here is a game type. There are only two fields are there. So when you click save, so here is the code to save the record. So this portion to check whether you enter the data or not. This portion to check whether it's already entered. Uh, this portion to check to insert the data. So this is to display the data in the grid. So this is to get the data back to the text boxes. So this is to delete and modify. This is to delete. So like that, okay. So when you take any, you can see that this is a player detail. So this should match with the, this player, okay. What are the number of columns here? You can have same number of columns here also. Therefore, you can pass the corresponding value to the corresponding column. Like at the last age is there. So age. once you enter all this data, when you click save. So here you can see that uh, we'll send this data to the this particular table. So what is the table name? That is a player tab. So this data will come to this particular table and it will be stored over there. So I'll just show you what is already stored. So this is how it will store the data. Uh, we need to enter because this is a lot of data entries required. So we need to enter the data then it will go to the corresponding table. Same you can like no modify, delete, everything will be there in every form. Right, so I'll run the project and let's see how it works. Fine, straight away come to MDA parent, uh, not log form. So login form is easy, therefore I'll just skip this. Let's go to state names. Uh, here you can enter the state names. Click new button. Uh, what is the state name? You can enter. Uh, let's say Madhya Pradesh. Right, so you can see that it automatically converted into capital letters. Uh, for that, you need to write uh, text box one dot text is equal to UK text box one dot text. So therefore it will convert to capital letters. Now you need to write about that particular state. So some detail you need to collect and then you have to write. Then next is the game type. So we have two types here. One is cricket, one is kabaddi. But you click new button and keep on entering the different games. So next you can enter hockey, football, like that. Next is the game detail. So what games you are playing in the college, that name actually. So as I told already, it is a junior cricket, okay. So this is a summer match, you can say junior cricket, summer match, uh, junior cricket, winter match, or uh, Jan match, February match. What are the match names? You can give the match names here. So anyway, this is a junior cricket for boys, you can write boys. If it's a girls, you can write as a girls. So this is what, when this event occurs, you can give the corresponding name. And here is the cricket type is cricket. This comes under the cricket. Next is the college detail. Here you need to enter the individual colleges. What are the colleges participate in these games? So all the college names you need to enter. So as I told already, it required a lot of data entry. So please enter all the data. Uh, beginning, okay, fine. So because uh, you want to test it. So make it some dummy data and then try it out. So before demo, give the demonstration, you need to have some real time data. Then only the project looks attractive. So here is the player details. So we enter some uh, players here, A, A, B, B, and B1, B2, B3. So all the players details we can enter in this particular form. Next is a team, okay. So you need to make a team. So in order to make the team, so let's say cricket team one, I'll copy this. Team. 3 are there, 4 are there. Now I will make it as 5. Team 5. And this is a junior cricket team. So the game type they are playing now is the junior cricket. And this is the college name. Which college team it is? The college name has to come. So here are the players. Okay. So you record a lot of players here. 11-11 members for 1-1 team. So 5 teams means 
55 players so there are totally eight teams are required at least minimum to enter the complete data so therefore i just give some a b c uh, like that short term and we can enter it actually okay so now we can create one more team called the team 5 next is the winner actually when the game happened so here you can see that uh, this is the cricket game under the cricket name this is the junior cricket now here automatically all the game teams will come so you can see that all the teams are there here now first team with the second team next third team with the fourth team same here fifth sixth seventh eighth and if you have a different name for each team that you need to select now from these two team so one has to select okay because one is the winner from these two teams if you go there therefore you can see team one team two is there which are these two teams that list will come here so that is you have to select team two is the winner from this again if you from these two if you come here you will have three and four now let's say three is the winner you can select three so we filter rest of the data here now from these two who is the winner so you can see two and three are there so in this three is the winner and same here also you need to fill all the data and then you have to select the one team from this side and now when you go to the team and this and this both will come in that who is the winner that you have to select now team 3 is the winner save okay now if you learn all these things then naturally you can enhance this okay you can make much more hard uh, much, much more attributes and make much more bigger so now we enter all the game so now if you go to remotes and then game winner list so here you can see that uh, when this game what is this game so cricket junior cricket cricket team 3 is the winner in that particular case so same you can create a state teams and the state winner who is the state winner same you need to enter it here also and uh, we'll get the same result again okay so next is the reports in the reports you can see player list over all the players you enter that report is there so these are the things which are included in this project so hope you understand some concept of this maybe you need to write down all the designs and then you need to try to do this project so please try yourself and uh, if you have any difficulties let me know what the problem so in the next video we'll try to express that issues and you want to know something more so please write it in the comment box uh, let me understand what you're looking for okay so here is the comment and then uh, please write the comment And then um, you can share the video. So you're welcome. You can subscribe to our channel. Okay, great. Uh, need the do. So please subscribe. And uh, if you have to say something, please write it in the comment box. Thank you very much.